Hello and welcome to Just Do It, a Dewey Brothers special. That's right, Eric. We are here in none other than Fuji, Japan for the uphill downhill. We're on the big mountain, boys. Oh, that is very correct. We here at the Fuji Mountain understand the sacred and special uphill downhill. That is correct, Eric Son. We are at the Fujitin Snow Resort, which is six miles from the summit of Mount Fuji and almost 8,000 feet below it. And the competitors this year are getting ready to take to the skies. As a matter of fact, we chimed in three and a half hours into the broadcast because it took them a long way up there from their advanced starting hut. I will say this might be one of the longest uphills that the uphill downhill has ever done. It is, it's up there. It's one of the worst uphills they've ever done. As a matter of fact, they started up at the Okunawi hut in order to have an advanced start. So they actually started, it's only like three miles up, six down. See, that's, that's uh, doable, but um, let's just say a, a strong downhiller like I, back in my prime days of downhilling, mm-hmm. would, uh, would hate to have undergone that that arduous task of going up three miles. Oh, yeah. I'm more of an up specialist than a down specialist, for sure, back when I was competing, Eric. Alex, we know, we all know how uh, how little mass you had and just how you would be able to scale up mountainsides like, like it was nothing, like a, like a strange billy goat, if you will. Oh, yeah, I had that, that twig-like complexity uh, that really helped me uh, just, just, just bound right up the mountain like a gazelle. Eric, do you, are you ready for some of the dangers that await our competitors on the mountain? First things first, they better watch out for the uh, the the yaoi, which is, um, I believe it's actually Japanese uh, fan art uh, between two gay lovers. But um, oh. on Mount Fuji, there's also the yaoi, which is similar to the yeti. It will come for you and possibly make homoerotic advances. Oh boy, Eric, did, well, did you see that we're actually sponsored by yaoi coolers for the oh. uh, uphill downhill? That that makes sense. The uh, Japanese subsidiary of uh, Yeti. Exactly. So, Eric, on the way up, these boys are going to have to get through, and ladies, because it's open to anyone who has the, the gusto. The competitors are going to have to tackle the Atami Slides, the Dragon's Tongue, and then after they get to the top, they're going to have to go back down the Dragon's Tail and into the Winding Forest, which is going to be really tough. They're going to get lost in there on their way back to the Fujitan Snow Resort. I mean, let's just say they're getting a whole lot of dragon. They're, they they start from the tip, end of the tail. It's going to be one dragon party. The, you know what the best part is about being at Mount Fuji? Uh, the Sapporo beer? Absolutely. Made with that Sirachi Ace Hops, the local homegrown hop subsidiary to Japan. We We do love local. We at the Just Do It podcast and at the uh, World Uphill Downhill Qualifiers, uh, we always promote eating local, farm fresh, um, not organic. We don't really care about that. Pesticides make us stronger. So all the pesticides on our food, but we definitely eat local. The best part is we get to sit in the little restaurant at the top of Mount Fuji and enjoy the whole show from the commentator station. Well, I'm sitting here. What what are you sipping on? Because I got my I got a nice little uh, Italian uh, cappuccino in solidarity with my favorite Italian skiers of this competition, Mario Luigi and Luigi Mario. I'm glad that Mario Luigi and Luigi Mario are going to be in this year's race. Those guys have been putting up some serious numbers, both on the ups and the downs. Eric, I am drinking some hot. Coco out of a Snow Peak mug, another sponsor of the event, by the way. Mm-hmm. And the reason I am drinking some hot cocoa is because I am pulling for none other than last year's, I believe, champion Jefferson Steelflex from America. Jefferson Steelflex is a man, a myth, and um, obviously a legend. Absolutely. No one is as ripped as that guy is, not to mention I also have the american tag team ace team up of bud light and cowboy beer man so (laughs) oh okay they're quite quite they're new to the circuit 
Uh, well, one of them's from Cowboy Beer Man. He's from Colorado. Okay. I, I bet he's a rootin' tootin' cowboy for sure. He all, he's been doing all his training by using the Blue Mountains on the Coors bo- uh, cans. That that's fair. That's a good estimate of mm-hmm. how uh, how cold it is out there, and that's how you know it to wax is by how blue your Coors can is. Now Bud Light, he's from Alabama, and they don't get a lot of snow down there. But that has not stopped Bud from training all the uphills he can possibly train on. This guy's quads are jacked. I will say, I as much as I do love the Mario, Luigi, and Luigi Mario uh, members of the Italian team, I really can't get over why the Italians are bringing none other than Andy Cuomo up, up here. Uh, I, I feel like he's just been a disgrace to the skiing community after all those allegations of him, uh, you know, just being extremely rude to mountain ops and, uh, you know renaming mountains without permission just a whole lot of crazy things and yeah, you, um, just, you can't be doing that sort of stuff but i do have to stand with the italian team and that's why i am 18 cups of cappuccino and uh two boxes of cigarillos deep well eric i need to know who is here from the russian team this year uh i actually believe that the russian is none other than um Oh, Raspy himself. We got Tootin, Rootin, Raspu. Oh, wow. Tootin, Rootin, Raspu. Did you know that he has been practicing with a unique workout that is all about dancing in sync? Uh, no, 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 Alex. You got that wrong. It's uh, He's dancing in sinks. So you know those um, those elevated surfaces, which are very hard to dance on, but r- old Rootin, Tootin, he, he knows mm-hmm. how to do it. He, uh, he gets up there, he just starts dancing. And then, no no regard, complete disregard for his own health. But this is, what, this is what makes it good. So he creates so much balance control because he also encourages the other people in the bathroom to um, wash their hands because, of course, COVID, you gotta, got, it's all about precautionary. You gotta be sanitary. Um, so he's dancing in these sinks, all right? He's dancing in sinks, and they're all soapy and wet. So he, it's just crazy good foot and edge control coming out of Root and Tootin. So, oh, Eric, what about the women in this competition? I want to see some fierce fighting ladies out there. Well, I'm, I'm, looking, I'm looking forward to the German... Um, uh, let's see, what, did, what was her name again? It was um, Reiterschwank. Reiterschwank. Yep, yep. One one name. Sort of like Madonna, yeah. you know, it's just right there, Schwank. Um, she is a big old burly meatball. Let's just say that. So she's got this downhill on lock if if she can make it up. The only problem though, Eric, is is she is since she's a big spicy meatball, is that going to distract Cuomo from the Italian delegation? I think it might. We do know how Andy Cuomo deals with the uh, big spicy meatballs on the course. Oh, he, uh, yeah. He, he laser focuses in on them, that's for sure. <laughs> Absolutely. So we got Rick, Richter Schwank from Germany. Yes. And I really think, Eric, the, the Swedes are sending a top athlete in daughter, dot and daughter, because she's pretty oh, good, too. She is good. Daughter, 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 daughter something like daughter, that. Daughter, daughter, daughter. Daughter, daughter, daughter. Uh, she's been climbing the ranks across the world with a, a few good uh, podiums at, uh, uh, where where else have we done this race? The Copper Mountain. I think she did, she did well uh, in the Alaska circuit. Uh, she was doing well. Yeah. Um, I believe that uh, kill the the K great K two summit was a uh, she didn't do as well, but still a rookie, so hard to hit some of those bigger mountains. Um, Alex, I personally am just I I want to see how the home home mountain people do here. So I'm talking none other than Mister Nintendo himself is up here. Mister Nintendo is in the race. Oh my God, Eric, he's he's a Sherwin. I mean, I mean, he's been racing here for. Probably 64 years. He has the high score on Wii Balance Board Downhill Slalom. You're right. Three I mean, he's, times. 
I, I saw him working uh, in the lodge already. He uh, he had his wee fit board out, and he was he was going through the whole motion. He had it. I I mean, he was looking good. But um, yeah, Mister Nintendo, which of course uh, his first name is Mister, and his last name of Nintendo. Um, the old great sage of Mount Fuji. Um, I I believe that he, there's no way that he doesn't win. He like he this is his home turf. Speaking of home turf. From the beautiful tropical weather we're getting up here, because climate change has been real bad to Japan, it turns out. I don't even know how there's snow up here, man. Uh, that That's not snow. It's actually all artificial uh, pellets because oh, of all okay. the microplastics accumulating mm. off the shores of Japan. Then we've actually just been shipping them onto the mountain. Uh, yeah, I thought that 75 and pouring rain was not normal weather for this time of year at the summit of Mount Fuji. And down, down at the base in the Fu, uh, Fujitan Snow Resort, Eric, don't worry, it's 110 down there. Oh, I mean, that that's fair. It It is kind of strange considering that um they use Celsius here. But, um... <laughs> yeah, it, yeah, it's quite concerning, actually. <laughs> just another day in the uh, Japanese province up, uh, up north. Yeah, Alex, I I believe that the uh, the racers are actually starting... um. Well, actually, like, they're, they're already halfway up the mountain. They've already gone through the Atami slides, and they are now on the dragon's tongue on their ascent up. So let's check in with the order here. We got Bud Light in first, off to a fast start, followed by Mr. Nintendo himself. Oh, my goodness. Right on the heels is Ritter Schwank and Daughter Dot and Daughter. Oh, my goodness, Eric. The These females are doing well, Alex. Steel Flex is nowhere to be seen, and Cuomo is in the gift shop, it appears. <laughs> oh no! But don't worry, Mario, Luigi, and Luigi Mario. I, I didn't know where they were. They're actually in third and fourth, as they just made a surprise route through the Dragon's Tongue. They took the French cut around. They they did a little extra French uh, French motion on the Dragon's Tongue. That's that's right. Say. They were Frenching in the Dragon's Tongue, and that got them at least thirty seconds. I think they picked that one up from Cuomo, but he seems to have abandoned the race. It appears that Cuomo has um has ditched out and is um making a mockery of this once <laughs> sacred event. Oh, what's this? Mr. Nintendo disapprovingly stares at Cuomo and shoots him with magical beams powered from Mount Fuji itself. Oh no. <laughs> That's gonna lower the temperature, hopefully. And um Alex, we're so what happened to Jefferson Steelflex? Is he just MIA? He's slow and steady, Eric. He's slow and steady. He's off the back of the pack. That's, I think uh, that's he's just surprising. pacing himself, though, because we got a lot of dragon to climb still. There is a lot of dragon to ride, and I have heard that this dragon, this dragon fights back. Just like the power of General Sao, he will make your stomach upsetty. Oh, yeah. Upsetty spaghetti, as they say, which is why it appears the Italians, Mario, Luigi, and Luigi Mario are now in first and second place. As they are all getting up towards the summit, they are now firmly in the dragon's stomach, Eric. Who do you think is going to make it to the top of this mountain first? Well, um, from what you're saying is, I, I still think Mr. Nintendo. Uh, there's something about him that he just seems in tune with the nature of the course and uh, is probably getting some sort of uh, system like feedback and nature energy absorbing into his body that's why at the ripe old age of 108 he still looks like he's 22 i mean i think it's all that yoga he's been doing he's been doing some serious sun poses in order to blast the other competitors with balls of energy and i'm not entirely sure that's legal well this this is mr nintendo we're talking about he does hold the high record in all we fit uh um, we fit yoga poses and strength posing. Yeah, that's why he's in such good shape. Um, but I, how's the, uh, how's our daughter, dot, daughter doing? Oh, daughter, dot, and daughter? She's, yeah. I mean, as good as you can go. It is a lot really hot for the Scandinavians, and, and she is, she is suffering mightily in this heat at the top of the mountain, Eric. Um, okay. I, 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 this is, this is a strange thing because don't normally all of our contestants have trackers on them so we can track them efficiently and you know uh, make sure yeah yeah we should i mean they should all be on our little screens here with the gps tracks yeah well where's our colorado native oh cowboy beer man yeah where's where's the beer man or uh, the usa's very own durango kid colorado beer man i i can't seem to find him anywhere 
oh no, maybe he went through the mountain, Alex. Oh my goodness. This is Cowboy Beer Man we're talking about. I've heard he once summited um, Pike's Peak in a matter of seconds because he found a secret entrance way down there, hidden to the rest of the world, only known by the greatest hop growers of our time who actually cultivated a massive hop stock that was able to climb through the mountain. And he, it, it's sort of similar to Jack and the Beanstalk, but yeah. um, Beer Man and the Hop Stock is a, a fabled legend that they tell, especially out in Colorado, where, uh, where our cowboy Beer Man is from. Eric, that's pretty wacky, but we, it looks like the athletes are coming over the lip of the volcano now. They are about ready to do the transition from the uphill to the downhill. Okay. Oh, no, Alex. Look, coming in hot, Eric. It is none other than, oh my God, they, she, she did it. She somehow managed to pull ahead of the Italians. It's Richter Schwank. Wait, no, Alex. I was just going to say, this doesn't look good. Richter Schwank is carrying too much speed, and she's getting caught up in all of that terrible um, volcanic ash up there. She is not used to this coming from Germany in their nice, fresh, clean air. She's She's going down, Alex. I don't know. Oh, man, I've never seen someone get asthma that bad right at the end of the dragon's tail. That's a critical error. Oh, my goodness, Eric. Yeah, wait, hurt. wait, hold on, Eric. Is, what's this hops growing up through the uh, the side of the commentation station here? Is that is that some Sriracha Ace hops and none other than Cowboy Beer Man like making his transition? Alex, oh, my he's goodness. Riding, he's riding the hops stock. How is he doing it that like that? Is that I even mean, legal? I think uh, Mr. Nintendo is back in the lead again, followed hot on his tail by Mario and Luigi. Well, and Luigi Mario. Yo, well, Luigi Mario, get out of here. You gotta, you can't steal. Oh, Eric, Luigi Mario just stole all your uh, espressos. Oh, no, my espresso. <laughs> He's How am I going to continue, Alex? I need oh. even more. It's okay. He didn't get Down to, to Mario my... Luigi now. Let's see if his brother can do it. The man in the red and green. Okay, so... They they are fully on the downhill, which means oh every every athlete's made every athlete still in the race has made the transition. Now they are oh. rocketing off the dragon's tail and into the winding forest on their way back to Fujitan Snow Resort, where I'm getting word that the nuclear reactor is now under control and the temperature has dropped down to a balmy twelve Celsius. That is also seasonally cold. Uh, oh, yeah, I mean, it, it doesn't get below, like, 100-something degrees Fahrenheit a year now that global warming happened. It's really bad. We actually yeah, have in the desert. It's, um, it's, it's the climate. The climate is very hot, and that is actually what... Oh, my gosh, that's the problem, Alex. The climate's just too hot because Andy Cuomo is still in the gift shop. I think it's time's up for him. Someone's got to get him out of there. <laughs> Someone's got to... Oh, no. Oh, gosh. Okay, Eric, they're now now officially transitioning past the Okanami hut into the winding forest. And who has taken the lead? None other than your boy, Bud Light. Bud Light. He, that man knows how to hit the downhills. Um, Although, I don't know how because he has never worn skis before this event. It, well, he decided to instead just use a surfboard, and that helps him make up some time. But now that he's in the trees, it looks, oh, ooh, ooh, that's ugly. He's going to need a cast for that. That is a colossal wipeout. He's being passed by Cowboy Beer Man, and he, he's still in the back. Steel Flex is still in the back of the pack, Eric. Of the athletes still remaining, he is in dead last. Do you think he can make up the distance? Uh, I've seen crazier things come out of crazier volcanoes around the world. So you know what? I'm putting the rest of my espressos on Jefferson Steel Flex. All right, Eric. I wouldn't do that too quickly. Uh oh, wait. This just in. Mario Luigi, upon hearing that request, has doubled down and he is he went into a super tuck. This oh my goodness. Is, he through the winding forest. I'd I I I would not do that if I were him. The winding forest is way too aggressive to be trying to go that fast through. Very tricky slalom down through there, for sure. And I, I mean, he's doing it though. He, he's he's flying past every tree, Eric. That is that the super tuck is is impressive, except for the fact that out the back, our our last. I think we're just down to down to the four, right? With with cowboy beer with Bud Light wiping out, we have cowboy beer man, Mister Nintendo, Mario Luigi, and did is Richter Schwank still in there? No, Richter Schwank is out. But what happened to daughter von daughter daughter dot's daughter? Oh, daughter, daughter, dot and daughter. 
Yeah, that one. Uh, she has overheated because it is just it is too too hot, and she has filed a bunch of uh, lawsuits with the da- uphill downhill company uh, over the uh, over Mario over uh, Andy Cuomo's uh, representation at these games. You know what? I do not blame her. <laughs> I'm not sure how he got on the list. Which like means, I said, the Italians were just strapped, I guess, or something. I guess, man. Year. We're down to just four. Mr. Nintendo, Mario, Luigi, Cowboy, Beer Man, and in the back, it is none other than Jefferson Steelflex. He's gaining speed. The man's a tactical genius. And Mr. Nintendo has just activated the Konami code. He's just oh. quintupled his speed, Eric. He's phasing right through the trees. I don't even know if that's legal. Alex, I, I don't want to say anything. But we forgot about one of the most fiercest competitors, Rootin' Tootie, Rootin' Tootin' Raspu. Yeah, Rootin' Tootin' Raspu, who actually the Mad did not Dog start. Russian. I I forgot he did not start. He had a lot to drink and was deemed unfit to start the race. Well, Eric, the fact that Rootin' Tootin' Raspu would be on the line with such a blood alcohol level could only mean one thing, and that means right after the winding forest, they're going into something so treacherous that we forgot to tell the readers, the listeners, about how treacherous it is, and that is the wolf pack. There is a loose wolf of pack of rabid wolves, and they're going to have to try and navigate them before getting down to the Fujitan Snow Resort. And once they get down to the Fujitan Snow Resort, they're going to have to hit the Namas Day black diamond trail where we have the finish line and now let me tell you eric i think i saw a snow snake on that so they gotta watch out well uh i believe also coming into uh that final uh black diamond trail there's also a mandatory um glug station that's true you do have to get your glug up in order to to, to access the ski resort that, that is right big mm-hmm. big glug has uh sponsored the event this year and are requiring all participants to chug a flagon before they finish. Well, Eric, Mr. Nintendo is the first man into the wolf woods, and it is looking good, but the you, we got a problem, Eric. Cowboy Beer Man Stallion, which I'm not sure how he's been able to ride that downhill. That doesn't sound I'm legal. not sure. It's... Oh, it's wait, Eric, no, I, I didn't notice it from this distance, but I zoomed in. Each of the four hooves on his horse has skis, so it's legal. That is legal. That that's fist legal in in the rule book. I see that that, that is required. The problem I, is his snow skiing equipment has just been eaten by a rabid pack of wolves, and so he oh seems to goodness. have also bombed out of this course, Eric. Well, it is okay though because you gotta take the still, cameras off. It's not safe for the children. He, he is still doing okay so far, but his horse with uh with ski hooves has been destroyed. Yeah, he is clearly off the back. So it looks like our only three serious competitors are Mario, Luigi, Mr. Nintendo, and none other than the Steel Man himself. Well, that is something to be... And they uh, are neck and neck coming into the Gloog Chug, Eric. They are right there, all three of them. The clu- Oh, what's this? Mr. Nintendo is gagging at the sight of the Gloog? It's, it's too warm for him, and it's actually messing up his, uh, his Wii Fit board. Oh my goodness, Eric! It's 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 zorking out his Wii Fit board. The whole thing's ruined. I don't think he's gonna make it down Namaste Black Trail. Interesting, interesting. Namaste Black Trail. Although so this is the officially the most difficult section of snow in all of Japan, by the way. However, this is Mr. Nintendo who has the highest score of Nintendo Namaste Trail Practice Edition. Which is why it's still neck and neck, Eric. They're fighting for it. Who's going to get to the finish line first? It's, it, we're, we're, I'm biting my nails. I can't, I can't take it anymore. Well, let's see. Jefferson Steelflex has just finished his flagon, and he's going down the hill. But can he catch Mr. Nintendo and Bud Light? We don't know. Oh, my God, Eric. Did you see the way his, his glutes just clenched? Oh, oh my no. God. This is He's the steel it. flex. This is the He's... steel flex I knew and love. Oh my goodness. I, every muscle in his body is just seized up. And his glutes are producing possibly 8 billion pounds of force coming down the hill. Don't, don't bother bouncing a quarter off of that booty. Bounce a whole 200 yen coin, baby. He's going all the way. Oh my gosh. We're coming down to a laser focus finish, Alex. We're down. We're talking. We're talking milliseconds, Eric. But we captured it on on tape. They're going back to the nano review. 
Okay, so what's interesting here is it's uh for the uphill downhill, it is actually the bib placement. It's not your skis, it's bib. And um uh from what I see the uh the judges are yep, they're they're checking it in. And um we actually have Bud Light coming in at third, Mr. Nintendo at second, and the winner is Jefferson Steelflex, Alex. Oh my goodness, what happened to Mario Luigi, Eric? Well, it, it appears... Why, did I not say Mario Luigi? You said Bud Light. Did did Bud Light actually wear Mario Luigi? Did Mario Luigi actually wear the wrong bib? Well, no, it appears that that was wrong. My information was wrong. So, oh, okay. Uh, it comes down... So Mario Luigi came in third, yeah. you know? Mm-hmm. Do you know why? Why? He tried, like a good Italian, mm-hmm. he tried to lean in with his dong to cross the laser focus. <laughs> oh, of course. He you tried to get his dong first get in that, Italian ski races. He, he tried to get that competitive edge by leaning mm-hmm. with the dong, but it's bib placement. So Ooh. that threw and it, it all. It looks up. like Mr. Nintendo's bib was not chrome plated like Jefferson Steelflex's was, and it was the width of that solid chrome plating that was enough to clench victory for Steelflex, well, Eric. That wow. and his tight booty. Let's just say that. I mean, obviously. I mean, this man is he's super good at uphill downhill, Eric. What can, what can we say? There's a reason he's the, the man, the myth, the legend, Jefferson Steelflex, the all-time champion of uphill downhill. We'll see if he retires for next year, if he keeps keeps up his win streak. And I gotta say, we gotta we gotta congratulate all the competitors out there. Everyone from Daughter Dot and Daughter to Ricker Schwank to Mr. Nintendo himself for hosting on his own very you know course. I will say, Alex, we we should not thank Andy Cuomo though. No, oh oh, <laughs> no. you're right. We're actually he, because of that lawsuit um, pending. We're not allowed great, to legally thank him. He brought great <laughs> dishonor to our competition this year. Yeah, that was. I don't know how the Italians got him in there. That was tricky. Well, Eric, we got to thank uh, all our sponsors from here at Papa Mount Fuji for the second annual uphill downhill competition. Um, from the Do It Brothers out to our audiences, happy holidays. And uh, we got to thank all of our sponsors, obviously starting with Snow Peak Mugs to drink all of your hot cocoa out of. Um, I would have to thank none other than uh, Big Gloog, um powering our race and inebriating many people in the process Mm -hmm. we have to thank as always homegrown hops for building in a secret uh hop trap door in order to give a competitive edge to certain favorable athletes and their japanese brand of sirachi ace hops get them in all your japanese beers um and of course as we saw you couldn't have done it without pit my tractor sponsoring jefferson steel flex and his fancy chrome plated bib that's true. And the Fujiton Snow Resort, where the finish line was located, we gotta we gotta thank them, and uh, all of the delegations except for the Italians that sent athletes to this year's uh, uphill downhill. Um, of course, we couldn't have done it uh, without proud uh, funding through uh, We Fit uh, boards, not the Wii or Nintendo, but just the We Fit boards. And of course, how could we forget, Eric? It's all up and down the uh, the race course, Yowie Coolers. So thank you uh, for coming to this edition of Uphill Downhill, a Just Do It special. I'm Alex. I'm Eric. For the love of God, man. Just send it, but don't send it too much. That dragon head to dragon tail combo will get you. Well, I think that exists now in 